Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Power Apps. So in this video, we will see how we can upload single or multiple document in document library using V2. So let me open, click on this button. And for now, I'm going to click on multiple, click on open. I will click on the single upload. But if you will see, we will get only the last document that, you know, uh, we attached all right now if same I'll do with the multiple then how it will work when I click on this multiple then here we go we will get multiple documents over here all right whatever documents we are going to upload so how we can do this so here I created a new application and let me add SharePoint so what we are trying to do the file upload control is not available in the you know control so any uh, you know any sharepoint list you can connect we just need to copy and you know paste the file upload control so let me add the edit form over here and this form i'll connect with the sharepoint list and then here i'll get this you know file upload control i will cut it and I will paste over here. Now I will remove this form. I don't I don't need it. Even I can delete this SharePoint list as a data source as well. Now let me check the errors. I will remove everything, whatever I'm getting over here. Display mode dot add it. One more error we are getting. That's also we can remove. Now let me make it small and I will add two buttons over here. So this will be single upload. And this will be multi upload. And this will be file upload control. I'll put it here. Now, in single upload, what I need to do, I'll go in the Power Automate, okay, and connect a new flow. So we will create V2 flow, create a flow. Okay, this is V2 and from here we will add an input from our control and that will be my file contained. Okay, now I will add a SharePoint list, SharePoint list, create, create item, create file. Right, so this is a site address. I'll put my site address over here and the folder path. You can choose folder path. So I'm choosing the shared document. If you want, you can choose, you know, anything that you want. But for now, I'm going to choose this uh, shared document. All right. Now here file content and file name. So the content that we uh, you know uh, define over here we can see my file content but my file name is not a my file content so here you can see trigger body file and inside that you can see content byte just select this and go over here and just copy this select and copy go here and go on expression and paste it remove this unnecessary path Okay, then here inside, uh, instead of contained bytes, we will put a name. Okay, now the question is, you will say, Anil, uh, why you put the name? Okay, so for that, I'll go over here and I'll create a, you know, instant plot flow and V2. The same thing we will do over here. So this add input, add a file. 
and my file contained my file contained okay now add I'll add a action SharePoint create file okay so here we go SharePoint create file now here you will see I'll click on this button and here we are getting two options file content name and my file content contain byte so here we will choose this and here you will see we will choose the name now if will mouse over over here you can see the name and here you will see you can see contain bytes so that's the reason I put it name over here name over here okay make it see all done file upload workflow okay click on save all right now in a single file what i will do i will call this file upload workflow.run and here you can see we need to provide the file and here i will provide content bytes and the content bytes will be last and file upload control dot attachment dot value similarly i'll go for name and the name will be last last and file upload control dot attachment dot name First, I need to close this, close this, close this. All right. So this is ready. If I click over here, every time, whatever we will upload at last. So suppose I just, you know, added one dot jpg, then I'll add four dot jpg. So it will update, you know, four dot jpg. It, it will only upload four dot jpg. Okay. Let me. I delete this okay now if I'll click on single upload you will see 4.jpg a few second ago because we have you know created the last over here okay we have chosen the last so that's the reason it's uh, you know uh, uploading the last now we will make a for or loop for all and here in the for all file upload control dot attachment and I'll take as a file upload control okay and this as will be basically as okay then this file upload control I will pass over here instead of the attachment okay I'm not using the last similarly I'm not using this last and instead of file upload control dot attachment I will use this okay then I'll make it close if you see in the format it will looks like this okay this is for all then we are using you know file upload control dot attachment as a file upload control and we are passing it over here now let me run it so one more thing I need to do over here I will go and you know what I will do reset file upload control same I will copy and paste for multiple right so now whenever I will click over here let me first close it and let me you know right now we have 4.jpg if suppose I will go for multiple click on open then once I'll click on this multi upload you can see uh, the control has been reset and all the files whatever we uploaded over here has been uploaded into the SharePoint okay and the similarly the single will work as well so if I'll go and I'll choose this image I'll and upload 
you can see instantly it, it will upload okay so i hope you like this video if you like this video then please subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit like comment and subscribe